So you are an indie dev and you want to test your awesome game. Who's gonna do it for you? Welcome to Badland Road Trip Devlog, where I give you weekly updates about my next game. When a big budget game is tested, this is usually done by a special team of people. Teams cost money and that's a resource an indie needs to use sparingly. Most indie devs test games themselves, but human nature can be very nasty. If you test your own game, eventually you will start to avoid bugs. Even worse, you will start to think that those avoided bugs aren't there anymore. So you don't have any money, you can't trust yourself and, to make matters worse, it is generally advised not to ask your friends and family. I'm gonna take one for the team and tell you your friends and family can be perfect test subjects. Now, there are a good couple of reasons not to ask your friends to test your game. They will probably not test edge cases or try and trigger bugs. Also, they might want to spare your feelings and not report any bugs at all. However, in development there is the over the shoulder testing technique. You basically put someone in front of your game, let them play it and most importantly you do not help them. That last one is the hard part. Because you first have to curb your enthusiasm and then have to ignore all the questions they ask you. Hey, uh, what does this button do? I don't know, can't help you mate. It might not be the best way to find bugs, but it does tell you the most important thing about your game. Is it any fun? More importantly, can any nitwit navigate your menus? Recently, I did this kind of testing for Badlands Road Trip. Since it's a co-op network game, everyone could connect from the comfort of their home and I could check if the network code was solid. Spoilers, it wasn't. But was it any fun? of events must be organized a little bit like a party. So I cobbled together a rough terrain with a couple of points of interest and I tried out some fun extras. One of the fun extras I made was a type of bullet. As you know, in Badlands Road Trip you can build your own guns and ammo. And there were four types of bullets. Three were serious and one was a six-sided dice. Guess which one was the most popular? in the network code, but also some config specific bugs. But most importantly, this testing session was 4 hours of non-stop fun with friends. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions about Badland Road Trip or any tips on how to make this vlog more appealing or appalling, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.